Okay, so you have an app. Now, how can you make the right decisions to ensure it's successful and has a sustainable business model? Hi, I'm Joe Salisbury, product specialist for AdMob. I make sure developers' feedback gets heard, and I work closely with our product and engineering teams to build out new features and get developers like you on board to beta test those and get them to market quicker. We're excited to share this series of videos to help you better understand the ads ecosystem, the different business models for mobile, and how you can make the most revenue from your app. To get things started, in this first video, we'll be looking at the big picture, focusing on making the right decisions early on to ensure that your app is successful. To be successful in mobile, you first need to determine what goals are important to you and understand what key performance indicators you should be looking at to make sure you're building a sustainable business model. This involves understanding user behavior through feedback and analytics, knowing how to get your app discovered, and connecting with global audiences through localization of your app. Let's start with user behavior. It's critical to focus on user experience to keep your users engaged and constantly improving your app by measuring your users' behavior and listening to their feedback over time. Your users will be happy and they'll keep returning to your app. To get there, you'll need to pay attention to how people are using your app and where you might be losing them. There are a few ways you can do this. Keep a close eye on feedback and your app's ranking. Are you meeting expectations and your users' needs? Understand user behavior through analytics. We'll discuss this more in a detailed video about Google Analytics and AdMob. Understand different types of users and segment accordingly to their behavior. For example, if you have a gaming app and a user is stuck on the first level, you might want to provide tips on how they can beat that and keep playing. Next, you need to know how to acquire new users for your app. How do you get discovered by users and what key metrics should you keep an eye on? Start by looking at distribution channels. Think multi-platform. You will need to be available in multiple distribution platforms, the big ones, Android and iOS. Once you're in the store, how do you maximize your app's discoverability? Spend some time carefully crafting your app store listing. Focus on making those first two lines impactful. High quality screenshots and videos will go a long way. Also, as small as it may seem, the quality of your app icon makes a huge impression. An icon is a graphic that takes up a small portion of screen real estate and provides quick, intuitive representation of an action, a status, or an app. Your app may be installed on a variety of devices, and make sure your icon looks great on all of those devices by providing multiple icon sizes. Next, it's important to think global and act local. The key is to deliver your tailored, localized versions of your app so you can connect with users all over the world. Why? According to a survey, 53% of Chinese respondents and more than one third of Japanese and South Korean users felt apps they were using were poorly adapted to their needs, and 25 to 30% of users discounted app usage because of it. And according to 10% of users in China and Japan, even if the app was great, they would stop using it if it wasn't adequately localized. So adjust your user interface and make sure you're culturally sensitive. You can use Google's easy to use translation tools to adjust the language of your app to meet those needs of those users. List your app in the Play Store in translated versions and localize the graphic assets so that those users can see what their app will look like in their language. You also need to keep in mind reviews and ratings when considering user acquisition. This user feedback is an important part of your product listing and goes a long way in attracting users. The key rule is to improve your ratings is to make every attempt so that unhappy users can reach you and express their concerns directly to you, and so that happy users can easily leave a review on the App Store. You will need to listen to what your users are saying and answer them as fast as possible to thank them for writing you and to let them know you're working or will be working on resolving those issues they have with your app. Don't ask for reviews too soon. Do it at the right time and to users who seem to be enjoying your app. For example, if they just won a game against three of their friends, give them a chance to share their victory and love your app on social media. Or if they just leveled up in your game, encourage them to rate you then when they're feeling good. Another thing to pay attention to where are your users coming from? Analyze your traffic sources 
and use that data to make decisions about where to put your resources for the most impact. Really want to get noticed? Invest in advertising your app and see how well different acquisition channels perform. Then adjust your strategy accordingly. We'll go into more detail on ads later in the video series. So now you have a good idea of what it takes to build a solid user base of engaged fans. But let's take a step back for a moment and think about your strategy for making money. How will you get the money to invest in building that audience? It's definitely a bit of a chicken and egg problem, right? But if you build and launch an app without a clear profit plan from the beginning, your chances of success are slim. Don't worry though, we will get exactly into how you can monetize your app later on. Combining different revenue streams will likely maximize your overall revenue. We'll devote an entire section to this a little bit later. There, we'll talk about freemium, premium, and other business models. Thanks for watching these videos and enjoy the rest of the topics.